Good morning, folks. We'll begin today with something beautiful and calming. The dance of a Neptune-sized plasma filament cresting the northeastern limb of our star. Standing vertically, this would be a solar tornado, but it is beginning to angle down and settle into hovering laterally across the surface here soon. Let's review our CME situation. 86 hours ago, the trailing portion of a megafilament released in spectacular fashion. We knew most of the ejecta would miss Earth, but we certainly couldn't rule out a glancing blow, especially when we saw the Enlil spiral. Then, we had a smaller but slightly more Earth-directed explosion on the surface that hurled a bit more ejecta into space, again in Earth's general direction. We haven't seen impact from either one of these yet, and Noah thinks the two have merged into one CME that should hit tomorrow. I still think it is possible to see it start today. All eruptions have been filamentary and not from solar flares. We see no X-ray flashes here in 131 angstroms, and there are no major surge or ejection events to be seen in 171. The sunspots themselves are in an interesting state. Northern group is decaying, but the south is narrowing and extending while magnetically complexing as well. Got delta potential with interaction front and back with the back one, possibly being Delta already this morning. Of course, this is relevant because they could go off here in the next couple of days as Mercury swings in. I've got seven days of solar wind here, showing the bulge in speed, in yellow, due to a waning coronal hole stream. The CMEs would be easily distinguished here amidst the calmer stream unless they hit with a sector boundary that we also expect here shortly as well. That's how calm we are right now, very smooth, and Earth's magnetic shield is doing just fine. Top and bottom left, you see incoming coronal holes. Those are the dark patches coming in on the left side you see here. These coronal holes are of opposing polarity and currently offering only medium force. The top two quakes of the day were on the Pacific Rise and at the west coast of the U.S. where anything over 4.0 is considered an uptick. Top story today, NASA has taken a page out of the Observer's Book and began to run down some of the many places we have found water. It's a good start but still falls about an order of magnitude short of the coverage in our most popular website series, Star Water. We investigate the water sources in both our system and beyond, but we also explain where this water is coming from and the extreme environment chemistry that allows Earth to have so much of it. Hint, it ain't comets. Folks, have you noticed that many of the big quakes recently tend to be hitting Indonesia and Papua New Guinea and Tonga and Vanuatu? That's because the Earth spots are there right now. It's their earthquake season. Well, we are about to enter the season for the Northwest Pacific and the West Coast of the Americas. This area, for example, has seen four seven-pointers since 2004 in all between March 20th and the end of April. As the storms return here, so will the quakes. And speaking of storms, Noah pieced together images from the sandstorm that just whooped the Middle East. Link is found below. We've still got twin systems churning in the Indian Ocean. To the east, we're seeing major weakening as it approaches Australia, which is a good thing. Right now, it's still the lows straddling the continent that are causing all weather alerts for the region overnight and into tomorrow. Coming to Alaska. See a couple convergences will be affecting the coastlines today. You can really see it with the precipitable water overlay where purple shows increased moisture. So when I come to the USA with it still on, you can see where the worst storm potential exists. Moisture coming out of the Gulf is carried to meet dry air from the desert and cold air from the north. Their interaction tonight brings us the highest torcons of the year so far. And tonight we are on major tornado alert. Eyes open. Finally, I am still bored trying to analyze Europe, low to the west, high to the north, clouds sticking mostly to those wind flows as that other low is now shifting east quickly towards southwest Russia. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.